Welcome to the Trendy Outdoorsman. In this video, I'm going to go over a super ultra wide monitor. It is the future and it is awesome. Stay tuned. And here she is in all her glory. This is the super ultra wide monitor. Uh, when you unbox it, just be very careful. It's a kind of an awkward shape and strange to handle, but just be careful setting it down. At first I put together the, together the assembly that it came with, but later I decided to mount it to the table, which you'll see here next. The mount that I found actually isn't made for monitors this large. It only goes up to a 32 inch. This is a 49. It's a gas shock monitor, but it is in the weight category. It's supposed to hold up to 32 pounds and the monitor that I have is 27 pounds. So here I wanted to, uh, as long as the vest amount matched up, which it did, it was 100 by 100. I had my wife help me while I held it up and then you can adjust the sensitivity of the gas shock. All in all, it worked out really well. Next, I have the same exact monitor for the iMac, including a Vivo additional mount that I had to purchase from Amazon for 15 bucks. This way you can mount the iMac to just about uh, any mount with this additional adapter, as you can see here. And I now have two of the exact same Loctec mounts to the monitor here and everything said and done it's really clean and also with additional USB chargers built into the bottom of the mount. It's an awesome setup. Okay, so this is my finished setup, and I'll start by explaining this monitor concept. It's a super ultra wide. It's a 49 inch TV. It is a basically two 27 inch monitors into one. And the beautiful thing about this is if you take a regular 49 inch, everything will just be blown up and large. Where this is the size of a 27 inch from top to bottom, but extended to be a 49 inch. So the beautiful thing about this is, is it's great for productivity. And in this case, I'm showing you here, this is my Final Cut Pro, and it's really good for editing videos in my case, because you can have this entire timeline of all your footage, everything expanded, and you don't have to constantly zoom in and zoom out, and you'll be able to see a lot more. And I'm using my 15 inch uh, 2018 MacBook Pro to power this thing right now. So everything that you've seen on the screen up above is down below here as my viewing window for this monitor. Now I have, this is just to give you an example here, here's two internet browser windows side by side, full screen to show you that it does almost fits perfectly here on this 49 as they would normally be a 27 inch monitor. And um, just to briefly explain, here's a rough graph here. In the red, this would be a four by three size box. That's what the old fashioned TVs used to be when you, if you remember watching like VHS tapes and back in the day, everything used to be a square on, on TVs. Then we went to the green box. That's a 16 by nine. That's what most people are still familiar with. That's what this monitor is right there. That's a 16 by nine laptop. And that's been the way that way for quite some time now. So then we moved into a 21 by nine. So that would be the blue box there. And that is called a ultra wide monitor. And those are great for gaming and uh, productivity and so forth. And then I believe last year or this year, uh, they finally introduced a super ultra wide, which is not even on this graph yet. And that is in this case, a 32 by nine. So it's a very large window for productivity. So in my case, um, just to show you, I've got multiple windows here on this unit so I can do video editing. I can quickly add, uh, look up things online if I need to via internet or, or file management and so forth. And I also have my iMac right here, my 5K iMac. And this is Milanote. And this is my notes for example, for this particular video that I'm doing. And of course, uh, multiple windows. And so the nice thing about this whole setup is this monitor has the software capability to be used as a uh, monitor powering this computer with the same uh, input scenario to get into that computer as well. What I mean by that is right now you can see my mouse cursor is down here and from here I can take it right up into this monitor and get these guys connected via that way and when I run this mouse all the way to this edge and I go a little further now my mouse appears on that monitor. So I literally have a connection between all three of these, even though that guy is hooked up with a different input to the monitor there. So I'm using the 5K capability of the LG powered by USB-C to my MacBook Pro, as well as charging the MacBook Pro. So it's just this one wire 
giving it all the power to work on that. And then this is just an external monitor just in case I want to look up other things online or be multitasking with YouTube videos or look at my, at my notes. Um, just about everything I wanted to do additionally, I have access to that. So altogether, it's a pretty smooth, clean setup. I have the main keyboard for the iMac here, and then I have this keyboard for the laptop there. And once you hover your, so this mouse is for the laptop. Once I hover this mouse from this screen to that screen, it will take over on that screen and I would still be able to use my laptop's keyboard on the iMac's uh, actual computer. So it's a little confusing because there's two separate computers here connected to this monitor. But once you run that mouse from this unit to that unit, then at that point you're able to use the keyboard from the first computer in the second one. So it makes it really smooth and easy to transfer files and to kind of communicate from one computer to another. Sometimes you have programs or you have pictures or you have something on one computer but not the other. With this system you can easily access it all in one, one system. And then I have this overlay. Um, it's just kind of a silicone overlay for Final Cut Pro. This is a key keyboard shortcuts trying to learn video editing a little bit more professionally and this is helping me uh, speed that process up so it's kind of a kind of a fun process so again this guy here also has a gas shock this is not technically designed for this this is designed for a 32 inch or smaller I'm using a 49 inch but I'm going by weight this is designed to hold 32 pounds I have 27 pounds so that's the main concern that I had is the weight. I've had uh, no problems. The vessel mount is absolutely perfect. It's 100 by 100. No problem for the bolt on. This has had no problem holding this monitor. I've had it this way for about a month. I've been using it, no problems at all. And the other thing that I really, really like about it is it has a USB on it on the front and I ran the wire from there to underneath here. I've got an additional USB. And so if I want to charge some devices on the side here, I can, or batteries. But what's nice is I also have this to charge them as well on the side. So it's kind of a really clean, minimalistic look, but it is very, very uh, productive. And I don't have a lot of wires everywhere. And this is kind of the process that I like to use in video, and I'm going to use for video editing here in 2020 and beyond. One other thing I forgot to mention here, with the software that this had, when you can link them to both monitors, another neat feature is you can do a split screen and you can see here and then you can pick and choose how you want this monitor to to basically behave so in this case i'll just kind of show you i'll do a let's do like a three window display so see these lines it automatically defaults with a pretend line that you create how to separate your windows so depending on what you do and what software you're using this can be useful for multitasking uh, so for example um, you need this real estate you don't want it to be moved around or you don't want to manually mess with it this will lock the windows in place so you can work in whatever window you want with them locked in place so this is kind of a handy neat little feature and how to uh, be productive based on what you do um, might be helpful for video editors, might be helpful for if you use like Excel or any kind of spreadsheet kind of stuff, or if you just want to multitask and not worry about messing with multiple windows and manually moving them around. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to have links below for my other video series within this one about all the other things that I did in this setup. If you do have any questions for me or any comments, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, like and subscribe to the channel. There are more videos to come. Thanks.